5 Hidden Soil Secrets That Triple Harvests Fast No Fertilizer Can Compete If your plants are yellowing, stunted, or producing less fruit even after you fed them the best fertilizer money can buy, you're not alone. The truth is, fertilizers only solve part of the problem. What most gardeners don't realize is that there are five overlooked soil minerals and amendments that can literally triple your harvest, permanently. These natural fixes rebuild soil from the inside out, not just for one season, but for decades. Today on Soil and Crop Central, we're digging into how these five hidden minerals transform poor soil into a living powerhouse of productivity. Most fertilizers focus on NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. While these are important, they're only three of the 17 nutrients plants actually need. More importantly, fertilizer doesn't fix soil structure, microbial activity, or trace mineral imbalances. If your soil biology is dead or compacted, even the richest fertilizer becomes useless. Think of it like having a full fridge but a broken stove. Your plants simply can't access what they need. To truly boost yields, you have to rebuild the foundation structure, chemistry, and biology. That's where these five amendments come in. Imagine a single gram of material with the surface area of two tennis courts. That's biochar, a carbon-rich substance made by heating organic matter in a low-oxygen environment through a process called pyrolysis. Biochar is not charcoal from your grill. It's a highly porous structure that holds on to water, nutrients, and microorganisms like nothing else on Earth. When you mix biochar into your soil, it acts as a permanent home for beneficial microbes. These microbes break down organic matter, fix nitrogen, and make nutrients accessible to roots. Biochar also prevents nutrient leaching during heavy rain and reduces how often you need to water because its pores retain moisture for weeks. To use it correctly, Mix 10% biochar by volume into the top 6 inches of soil. For example, if you're preparing 10 gallons of soil, add 1 gallon of biochar. It's best to pre-soak biochar in compost tea or water for 24 hours before mixing, using 1 gallon of water for every gallon of biochar to help colonize it with microbes. The incredible thing is, you only need to do this once. Biochar lasts for centuries, improving soil structure and fertility long after other amendments have broken down. Clay soil is honestly one of gardening's biggest frustrations. When it's dry, it turns into something like concrete, and when it's wet, it just becomes sticky mud that suffocates roots. The real culprit is the way clay particles pack together, flat and tight, leaving no room at all for air or water. Now, gypsum, or calcium sulfate, is really the ultimate solution here. Its calcium ions cause clay particles to clump into larger aggregates, a process called flocculation, which, you know, opens up space for air and water movement. The difference is honestly dramatic. Compacted soil becomes loose and crumbly, drainage improves, and roots can finally expand freely. Gypsum also provides calcium without affecting soil pH, making it just perfect for gardens where lime would make things too alkaline. So, you'll want to apply 40 pounds of gypsum per 1,000 square feet and work it into the top 6 inches of soil. If you're amending a smaller area, that's about 4 pounds for every 100 square feet. After you've done that, water thoroughly, using about 1 inch of water, which is roughly 62 gallons per 100 square feet, to help the gypsum dissolve and penetrate. Within just a few weeks, you'll notice softer soil and, honestly, deeper root growth. Modern fertilizers miss the mark because they ignore ultra-trace minerals that drive crucial plant processes. Azomite, derived from volcanic ash, contains over 70 natural minerals and elements, including boron, molybdenum, cobalt, and selenium. These minerals are needed in microscopic amounts, but their absence can really cripple plant performance. For example, boron deficiency leads to hollow stems in broccoli and cracked fruit in tomatoes, while molybdenum is vital for nitrogen fixation in legumes. Azomite replenishes your soil with a complete spectrum of trace elements that work synergistically to enhance flavor, resilience, and yield. 
use between 5 and 10 pounds per 1,000 square feet, mixed into the top few inches of soil. For potted plants, one tablespoon per gallon of soil is ideal. Water in with about half a gallon per square foot to activate the minerals and allow them to begin bonding with the organic matter. Within one season, you'll see stronger stems, deeper leaf color, and more consistent fruit set. Green sand, made from the mineral glauconite, is one of the most overlooked soil boosters in gardening. Formed from ancient ocean deposits, it's rich in potassium, iron, magnesium, and over 30 trace minerals that fertilizers ignore. What makes green sand exceptional is its slow-release nature. Once added to your soil, it continues to supply nutrients for up to five years, gradually building long-term fertility instead of short-term spikes. Green sand not only restores trace minerals, but also improves soil texture. In sandy soils, it helps retain moisture, and in clay soils, it enhances drainage. Mix 50 to 100 pounds per 1,000 square feet into the top 6 inches. If you're treating a raised bed, that's around 5 pounds per 100 square feet. To activate green sand faster, mix it with compost or water it in using 1 gallon of water per 10 pounds of green sand. For the best results, combine it with biochar to create a microbial-rich mineral network that plants can access instantly. No amendment ties everything together like worm castings. These are the end product of earthworm digestion, a rich, biologically active substance loaded with beneficial bacteria, enzymes, and plant hormones. Each gram of worm castings contains billions of living organisms that continue improving your soil long after they're applied. Worm castings deliver balanced nutrients, five times more nitrogen, seven times more phosphorus, and 11 times more potassium than ordinary soil, without any risk of burning plants. But their real magic is biological. The microbes in worm castings unlock minerals from amendments like azomite and green sand, transforming them into forms plants can immediately use. For new garden beds, mix 25% worm castings into your soil blend. For existing gardens, top dress with a half-inch layer once a year. In container plants, use 10 to 20% worm castings in your potting mix. Water after application with about one gallon per square foot to help the microbes soak into the root zone. If you're ready to go all in, start your own worm bin. A small home setup costs about $50 and provides a continuous free supply of nutrient-rich castings for years. If this video gave you a new way to think about soil health, make sure to hit that subscribe button, share it with another grower, and stay tuned to Soil and Crops Central for more science-based strategies that transform your garden from the roots up.